panny przewodniczący. President uh, Jose Manuel Barroso. Je crois qu'il y a eu. Thank you, President. I think there was a general consensus on the priorities of the presidency with certain differences of view according to the political groups. But there is one subject which was raised in several contributions to which I'd like to refer. That is the question of European coordination and consistency, either in responses to natural disasters outside Europe or in responses to external relations, for example, post-Copenhagen, or in economic policy. And there I think we have a solution. The solution is to apply the Lisbon Treaty. We don't need to invent a great deal. As regards the question of a response to the humanitarian crisis, there is the famous Barnier report, which was referred to today. This is a report which I requested with the rotating presidency, the Austrian presidency at the time, and my dear friend Mr. Michel Barnier was a member of parliament. He wasn't the commissioner then. He wasn't. It was an initiative I took by requesting this report from him. And in fact, we got this report which was given my support and the support of the Presidency of the Council, but afterwards it wasn't implemented because the Council didn't want to implement it. Let's be quite clear about that. And that is why we have to do more now in terms of consistency in external humanitarian action of the European Union. Now I think that the response is the Lisbon Treaty. We have a high representative who is Vice President of the Commission, and at the same time, she is President of the Council of Ministers of Foreign Affairs. And that is why, in the new Commission, I set up a new portfolio on international cooperation, humanitarian aid, and response to crises. So there will be one Commissioner, probably a female one, whose top priority it will be to work together with the High Representative and Council so that I hope that one day we can have a real external action service, but also a response to humanitarian crises and civil protection. That's the first question. The second question is that of international co negotiations, for example, post-Copenhagen. There again, I think we need to read the Lisbon Treaty. I think that many have not read it. Article 17. Except for the foreign, pol and foreign and security policy and other cases provided for by the treaty, the Commission will ensure the external representation of the Union. It is the Commission which will represent the Union. It is not the Council. It is not the European Council. It will not represent the Union on external action henceforward. There will be heads of state and government representing their own countries, but who represents the Union in external matters, apart from CFSP, it will be the Commission. And that is why I have created a portfolio on the climate agenda, and I hope that the Commissioner, a female one in this case, will have the utmost support to represent the Union in post-Copenhagen negotiations. Let's be clear about that too. And then a third question is the economic policy. There too you need to read the Lisbon Treaty. There are people who think that the economic policy is a purely national question, and that's not true. Article 120. The member states shall regard their economic policy as a matter of common interest and coordinate on it in Council. Article 121, Part 2, the Council, at recommendation of the Commission, will draw up a draft for the main guidelines of the economic policy of the Member States of the Union and report back to the European Council. And then you need to read the whole article. In order to ensure closer coordination of economic policies and sustained convergence of economic performance among Member States, the Council, on the basis of a report tabled by the Commission, will keep an eye on economic development in each of the member states and in the Union. So there will be collective supervision. And it, more than that, and this is new in the Lisbon Treaty, the Commission now may make practical recommendations, particularly, and I quote again, when it is established 
that policy, the policy of an, a certain member state doesn't comply with the major guidelines or runs the risk of compromising the efficient workings of the economic and monetary policy, the Commission may send a warning to the member state concerned. And then the Council, at recommendation from the Commission, may make the necessary recommendations to that member state. And this is very interesting because Parliament, too, will have powers in this. The President of Council, the Presidents of Council and the Commission will report to the European Parliament on the results of multilateral supervision. And this means that henceforward, in the Lisbon Treaty, we don't need to invent anything new. We have the mechanisms. I don't need your support to read this. And the truth is that in the Lisbon Treaty, if we really want to implement it, we have all the necessary mechanisms for coordination and consistency without needing any political or ideological division on that. And that's what I'm saying. And that's why I want to emphasize this point here today, because it's the first time that in the European Parliament we have a new council presidency of the rotating presidency. The Spanish presidency has great responsibility. It's the first time after the entry into force of the Lisbon Treaty that we have a rotating presidency. And as Mr. Zapatero said, and I trust him absolutely because of his pro-European commitment, I think that we have a responsibility to apply the treaty to the letter and in its spirit, uh, the letter and the spirit of the Lisbon Treaty. A stronger Europe, not for the institutions, but so that the institutions can better serve the general interests of our citizens. Thank you. Thank you very much, President Barroso. We are all reading the Lisbon Treaty, and we know that uh, not everything is prescribed there, so that's why it's very important for us to interpret what has been enshrined in the, in the treaty so that we could plan our actions in the European Union for years ahead. Thank you.